welcome back to Mrs. Young's Tech Tips. In our last video, we talked about how to duplicate elements to create a drag and drop on Google Slides. One of the issues when you create um, a duplicate element is that kids, if you add a background, they can also move the background around if it's just a picture. So today we're gonna to talk about a way to use Canva to help us add a background that kids cannot move. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a brand new Google Slide presentation. We already titled this Drag and Drop Sample, and we wanna create a blank canvas to work from. So we're gonna right click, then apply layout, then click blank. Now we're going to go over to Canva. So Canva offers free and paid options. There is a lot of great stuff in the free version, and all you need to do is sign up for an account. So you'll go to canva.com, you'll sign up for your account, and then they give you several different options to choose from. We're gonna go with the presentation option. And we just want a blank slot. So I wanna do something fun for my kids. And I'm gonna go over here and click on background. And I really like this blue sky image, so I'm gonna click on that. Notice it says free. It says free, you're good. Then I'm gonna go over to text, add a heading, and I'm gonna ask them just a silly question. Do pigs fly? And then I'm going to wait till I see the process and move my title up to the top of the page. Then I'm going to add another piece for my drag and drop. So here's my yes section where kids can drag their responses to the yes. And then here is my no section where kids can drag their responses to the I'm just going to put that right there. And you'll notice you want to look for that little magenta dotted line because that lets you know that your items are the same height. Then I just want to add a little flying pig for fun. So I'm going to hit elements and I'm going to type in flying pig for my search. And there are a lot of different flying pigs. Notice if it says pro, that means it's a paid option. But there are lots of free ones too. So I'm just going to go with the first one I see at the top. Now I'm ready to download my image. So I'm going to click on the little download piece. I'm going to change this from PDF to PNG. And then I'm going to click on download. If you're on a Windows computer, usually your images default to your downloads folder. So then I'm going to find it on Windows Explorer. You can always do that by clicking the little arrow and clicking show in folder. Then I'm going to go back to my Google Images here, or my Google Slide. Click Slide, Change Background, Choose Image. I like to drag files, but you can just click on Browse and go into your downloads as well. And then click Done, and there you go, a background that students can up, no matter how hard they try. And we're gonna go ahead and go over just the text box part so that you can see that as well, just as a refresher. So again, um, you can go to insert text box or on the menu, you can click on the little T. We're gonna create our text box for yes. Make that a little smaller. We're gonna change the color. Let's go with green this time. Our border, our green. And then I'm gonna use my alignment tool over here to make it centered put the text in the middle of the box. And on our keyboard, we're gonna hit Control D five times. One, two, three, four, five. Click far away from it. Select them all. Go to Arrange, Align, Center. Arrange, Align, Middle. And now we've got our Yes options. And you may wanna keep them here. You may wanna drag them off to the side of the because when students do this activity, they are gonna see the exact same screen you see. So I'm gonna drag mine over here. And then I'm also gonna make my no boxes. So I'm gonna draw another set with my text box tool. I'm gonna change this one to red. I'm gonna give it a dark red border. Type the word no. And then I'm gonna use my alignment tools over here for center and in the middle. Then I'm gonna click my text box again, do Control D five times. One, two, three, four, 
five, click off the nose, draw my big rectangle, go arrange, align, center, arrange, align, middle, and then I'm going to drag them over here as well. Now the last piece is my instruction. So you know what? This box is a little bigger than that box and it bothers me. So I'm going to make it smaller by clicking in the corner. And you'll notice that when I did that, now what is my problem? That I didn't do it with all of them, so I need to select it again. Make sure they're all the same. And if you mess up on the first one, that's okay. Because you can just select that first box. And then I'm just going to move him back down so that he matches. Yes. So for your last piece, you're going to put in student instructions. So I'm just going to do another text box. And I'm going to write student instructions. Drag your answer from the pile below to the yes or no spot on the slide. And then I'm just going to have a little arrow, so I'm going to go to insert, shape, arrows, down arrow, just so kids remember that this is where my answer is on. And I'm going to make this one. And that is it. So now when your students see these instructions, they can go ahead and drag their element to yes or no. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time.